I just want to talk a little bit about the policy issues, since we are dealing with the policies on higher education. What I discovered when I was in the office is that most of the policy statements on higher education are uncoordinated. And uh, they are in the form of policy documents and enabling legislation. Now the challenge here is that they are not even harmonized and they come when there is only a problem. And uh, in most cases, we find that although our education policies cut across the economic sector, they are not treated in the same manner when they are being developed. And when there are political considerations, they do not allow a comprehensive analysis of all policies. We find that only selected policies which have clear, direct, and immediate implications on education are reviewed, and this is not done in a particular order. First policies emerge as problems arise than being made on the basis of long-term vision or expected outcomes. Therefore, we need to make sure that our higher education policies are coordinated, participatory, and driven by political will. I just want to comment a little bit on the political will. But unfortunately, find that every time you say you hear that the government is committed on doing something, when it comes to actual implementation, actual consideration, you don't see that commitment. For example, this year I was listening and the I went the budget session and they are presenting the budget on education. Unfortunately, the higher education was standing alone. Now it is in the Ministry of Education combining with primary and secondary education. What I learned in the session is that out of about 50 questions on the budget of education, only one question was on higher education. So the message has got is that even the, 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 the parliament is not, is not sure of what is happening in higher education, therefore they cannot even ask a question on higher education.